Welcome to Dead Man Talking. Before we start off tonight's story, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know the reason for not uploading over the last few days. I attended my mother's wedding and I had to walk her down the aisle. It was a great honour and a, an awesome day. Everybody was so happy and uh, I couldn't be happier myself. I'd also like to quickly say thank you everybody to the people that have commented, you know, the kind words of support uh, are wonderful to hear and it's great to have feedback as well, whether they're negative or positive. Anyway guys, let's get straight into tonight's story. It's entitled, My Possible Encounter with the Baseline Killer. I can't remember if it was 2005 or 2006, but here in Arizona, it was referred to as the Summer of Terror. At the time, we had two serial killers here, the baseline killer and this random shooter. Everyone was a bit on edge at that time. But here's my story. I lived in an apartment with my boyfriend at the time. We had gone out to eat and when we got home, we decided to take my dog for a walk. While on our walk, we remember we left our leftovers in his truck. So when we finished walking the dog, we stopped at the parking lot and my boyfriend decided to grab the leftovers while I walked straight to my apartment. I took notice of a man wearing a nylon hoodie. His hood wasn't up though, but it did strike me odd since it was the middle of summer in Arizona and you know Arizona is very hot. He was upstairs near an apartment that I knew he didn't live in. Still, I didn't care too much, so my apparently oblivious dog and I continued walking to my apartment which was one building over. I hear someone not super close behind me, but again, I don't really think much of it since I knew my boyfriend wasn't far behind. I walk up my stairs and get to the top thinking, I'm going to look down and see my boyfriend. But nope, it's the man I saw before, and he's probably three steps up and he has his hoodie pulled so tight over his face that I can only see his eyes and nose. And he's looking right at me. Right then, my boyfriend comes running through these rocks holding a knife. He was definitely not close enough to catch that man, but the man took off running. My boyfriend said he'd seen the whole thing. He says that man was standing up there, and as soon as he saw me, he pulled up his hoodie and tightened it, ran down those stairs, and at the bottom of the stairs, he hopped a few times like he was, you know, trying to pump himself up. Then he followed me all quiet-like. So, I don't know if this man was the baseline killer, because I barely saw his face. What I do know though, is that this man was likely not trying to sell me Girl Scout cookies. I think about this all the time, and really just wonder what would have happened. Wow, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that story. It's quite a chilling reminder of uh, circumstances I found myself in when I was a lot younger. Um, if you guys enjoyed that, please do like, comment, share, and remember folks, be safe. Not sorry.